Hello friends, today I want to introduce you a numerical method which is interval halving method. Why we use interval halving method? For example, we have this function, function of x equal to x squared minus 1.5x. If we want to find the uh, root for this function, we can easily differentiate the function and equal to 2x minus 1.5 equal to 0. So x equal to 0.75. That is the root of fx. But sometimes we subject it to the functions which is not differentiable. For example, minus x is equal to exponent of x, x minus 1 equal to cosine x, ln x equal to the fourth root of x. These functions are not differentiable. If we want to find the solution or the root for this function, we can't find uh, analytically. So we have to use a numerical method. Let us see how we can find the root for this type of functions by interval halving method. Okay, we need two conditions uh, to know we can apply interval halving method or not. The first one, the function should have different side at end points. The second one, the function uh, should be continuous. You see the function is continuous, okay. We have this problem. Find the root of function of x, which equal to exponent of x plus x by interval halving method. The interval is minus 1, 0, and the error should be less than or equal to 0 0.05. Okay. Let us verify the conditions. First one, we substitute the value of the end pointers to see that uh, different sign different signs at end points. You see, f minus 1 is equal to 1 over e minus 1. 1 over e is minus 1 equal to minus 0 0.63, so it's less than 0. And at 0, the function of x equal to 1, so it's greater than uh, 0. Okay, this function is obtained. The second one, we plot the function to see that the function is continuous. You see, the function is continuous within uh, the interval. If we have a predefined error, so we can determine how many steps we will need. Okay, this is rule. B minus A over 2 to the power n, small or equal to epsilon. B minus A 2 to the power n, small or equal to 0 0.05. Just put the value of B and A in the uh, function and re uh, bring 0 0.05 from left hand, uh, from right hand to the left hand and 2 to the power n to right hand side, it will be 1 over 0 0.05, small or equal to 2 to the power n. And we can simplify this function more. 1 over, uh, by multiplying len. 1 over 0 0.05, it will be 20, and multiply len, it will be len 20, and 2 uh, len, uh, multiply 2 to the power n, it will be n ln 2. So ln 20 equal to 2.9957 and ln 2 equal to n 0.693. Then n equal to 2.9957 over 0.693. So n equal to 4.32 steps. So we need 5 steps to get error below 0.05. Okay. The simplest to summarize the interval halving method is using table of form. N is the number of steps. Okay. A and B is the interval at a first step, which we have. Okay, let's find the midpoint. That's A and B. Midpoint equal to A minus B over 2. So, X equal to minus 0 0.5. It's a midpoint, you see? Midpoint, okay. Evaluate the function of x at x at midpoint. Okay, the function is equal to 0 0.1065. That's the fx. Epsilon equal to 0 0.05, 0 0.5. So it's greater than uh, the required error. Now we have to decide uh, which part of the interval interval should be deleted. Yeah, because at interval halving method, in interval halving method, every step a half of the interval will delete it. Okay. Because the function of x is positive, so we replace b by the midpoint. Okay. 
So we replace 0 by minus 0 0.5 and A remain as it is. We deleted this part and B equal to minus 0 0.5 and uh, A remain as it is. Okay. This time calculate midpoint again. It equal to minus 0 0.75. That's minus 0 0.75. Evaluate function of x. Function of x this time is negative and equal to 0.2776. Epsilon 0.25 greater than. Well, we continue. And this time, because the function is negative, we decide to delete this uh, side of interval. Okay, and replace a by minus 0.75. Okay, this time a equal to minus 0.75 and b remain as it is. Okay, calculate midpoint again, which equal to minus 0.625. Okay, evaluate function of x at 0.625, it equal minus 0.089. Error 0.125. We close up to the uh, required error. Okay. This time also we delete this side because the function of x is zero, uh, is less than zero or negative, and replace a by minus 0 0.625. Okay. B as it's calculate midpoint again, which is 0 0.5625. Function of x 0 0.073 is positive. Uh, error 0 0.0625. Okay, that's the fourth step. We need five steps. Already determined the number of steps. Replace. Uh, this time replace b by 0 0.55625. Okay. And uh, a as uh, is same x is 0 0.5 minus 0 0.59 and error 0 0.03 it's less than 0 0.05 and the root of the function is minus 0 0.59 i hope it be helpful have a nice time